Hello friends, what's up? My name is Cassie and today we are going to be making a jumpsuit from scratch. So I have this jumpsuit that I love, it's perfect, it's so comfy, and I wanted to make something very similar but in this sort of jacquard cotton that I just got from Blackbird Fabric. This is not necessarily a, a tutorial but I'm going to walk you along as I make a jumpsuit and show you what I do to copy something in my closet to make something new. If you like sewing content, knitting content, general DIY and sustainable fashion, please be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment below and let me know what you think. Now that that's all wrapped up, let's get into trying on the jumpsuit that I already have and showing you my plans. So this is my jumpsuit that I'm going to be trying to replicate. What I wanna do is make it longer, so have it be closer to ankle length down there. I really like this part, so I'm gonna do probably snaps at the front to make it easy to get in and out of. And then I've got the V back which I will copy. I think I'll probably keep it slim through the waist like it is here. And then maybe at the back do a little like gather with some elastic just so it comes in a bit more. But I think that's gonna be the general plan. It is in four pieces. So one panel, two panels, and then the back is two panels. So it's really only four pieces of fabric. I'm gonna try it out and we'll see how it goes. So I will see you in a second as I make a pattern out of this jumpsuit. I have my tracing paper and I've got this all lined up. This is the back side. I'm gonna trace all along and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna cut out of my fabric two pieces of each. So it's really only two pattern pieces plus I'm going to do the little um, pocket in there. So let's trace and get to cutting. Now I'm just tracing around my jumpsuit. I'm folding it in half. I know, I'm sorry, you can't see. But I'm folding it in half, trying to make it as accurate as possible and tracing around it. I'm also leaving about a 5 8 of a seam allowance so that um, when I sew it together, it will you know, account for the seams. So I'm adding that in myself and tracing both sides, the front side and the back side, just doing one pattern piece for, piece for each side because I will cut them on the fold to get two sides. And then here I've moved right into cutting. As you can see, I've laid out my patterns. I've done both, you know, I've had both pattern pieces and I'm just cutting them out and these will be what I use to trace on the fabric. Okay, now we're gonna cut the fabric. Um, so this is the wrong side and I put in the darts there and there. But then to attach the front, I basically have to start with the snaps that are gonna go all down here. So this is a burn I got from my iron, please be safe. Um, so you, what I'm doing is I have the button placket here. This is the right side. I have attached, um, it's so that I'll sew along this edge and then flip it over to the wrong side. And then this will be where the bucket, the buttons go. And then I'll do the same on this side. Uh, so I'm gonna sew the darts, sew the button placket, add the snaps, hopefully they snap together, and then we will move on. I've basted it together and honestly it fits pretty good. I think I might add a little cinching in the back, but other than that, the buttons will go in the front here. My mirror is so dirty, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. It turned out, it's turning out pretty good. This is pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, this will be shorter or this will be 
in like this. This will be in as well. Yeah, that's gonna look really cute. I'm really excited about it. Sweet. Now that I have tried it on, I like how it looks. I'm going to go back and I'm getting rid of the basting stitches and making final, uh, sewing the final seam. It's one of those items that's gonna be pulled on an awful lot. So I really want the seams to be strong. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna start doing that. So tried it on again. This is clearly not great. So I'm going to bring it in through the front. I'll sew along here and that will help make that better. And then the sleeves, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I think once I bring this in, the sleeves will be a little bit better maybe they just need to be a bit tighter and then i think i will do a little cinching back here let's go back to the sewing machine and see how it goes so at my sewing machine i went back and i took in the fronts as well as the back seams and played around with the shoulders trying to get the right fit i tried it on a couple times as well and kept sewing until it fit right all right, well, that's everything. Um, I'm really happy with the jumpsuit. There's a few little tweaks that I have to make, but overall, super happy with it. Let me know if you liked it. Um, leave a note in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're working on. And don't forget to subscribe because I have a ton of sewing, knitting, and upcoming reviews of some things that I made. So, have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.